Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the Star Seed series. My name is Jen Bushman, and I would like to talk to you about some uniting truths around your Star Seed awakening. I do Star Seed readings for people, and I love them. It's really fun. You know, sometimes the reading is centered around, uh, you know, uh, what somebody did you know, um, in their life on another far away place in another planetary system, uh, or, you know, what they ate, you know, who they were. And then some folks come to the starseed reading because they feel a really intense uh, purpose, a really intense urge to know who they are and, you know, contribute to humanity, like they really want to know their purpose. Some folks come to the reading and, you know, they just, they want to know what they've done, um, but they want to make sure they're aligned with their purpose, but they, you know, they also want to understand why they came back to the third dimension. So it's a whole gamut of folks and where they sit on this spiritual number line, but understand that no number is greater than the other. We are all equal and similar in our spiritual quest. So wherever you reside in your quest is totally cool. It's all good. You know, there is no judgment in dimensional um, existence or growth. Uh, it's not like if you were born in the sixth dimension like me and somebody else was born in the ninth dimension. It doesn't mean that the being uh, who is born in the ninth is more evolved or more spiritually aware. Understand that the dimensions are just numbered because we need a number in order to identify that dimension. Do you understand? It's difficult for us because we live in the third dimension. We live on a linear number line. So we need to know our past, our present, our future, or we need that sequential order of numbers in order to make sense of our space and time. But in the whole composition of the universe, um, you know, one dimension that we have labeled as ninth versus the sixth does not mean that the ninth is more evolved or better or um, that you are less than if you were born in the sixth. It's just like a placeholder. That's all, guys. So I just wanted to make that clear because there have been questions about that and concerns. So um, I just uh, I just wanted to clear that up. So I'm so glad you are here. Let's talk about some uniting truths about who you are in your starseed exploration. Understand that if you are called, you are qualified. So like I said, wherever you sit in your spiritual growth is totally cool where that you are here and wherever you are. I really want to make that clear. And if you are called, then you are enough. Some folks, you know, they come to me and they really want to know that they're on the right path, that they're doing the right thing. I really want to know what I'm supposed to be doing with my life. I really want to live my purpose. And I mean, I love that because, I mean, what... What a wonderful attitude, but that's also a sign of a star seed, like a star seed with a mission. And so um, folks are, it seems like they're insecure and question that they just want to be reassured that they're doing the right thing. So this is your reassurance game. <laughs> that if you are called, called, you are enough, you are enough exactly where you are at you are just a beautiful expression of spirit it's wonderful all right um some folks when they um 
like when I do a star seed reading for someone, they kind of want to know um, if they are of love and are of unity and of consciousness. That's that's kind of the thread that um, seems to come through. That that reassurance that the star system that they come from, you know, isn't one of violence and division and warring like Hollywood has made it this out to be, just um, that all of us, our souls, our incarnation, our existence in the universe is of love and unity and of the consciousness. You understand? That's that's our foundation. Think of when a baby is born. You know, I think of McKenna and Sam my kids and uh just just the smiles the chit chat just the love you know when they first start kindergarten and first and second grade just how much how excited they are to be with the other kids how much they just love them right they just live in that love and but then over time they kind of learn fear, <laughs> just like all of us, right? We kind of lose that connection to that love and that unity and being a part of whatever this is, this consciousness that we are part of. Um, star seeds uh, and of a star seed awakening you feel different maybe like an alien on the earth you feel separate and different and at times that can feel very lonely you know you can not lonely but alone you know i feel that way at times um you know <laughs> my channelings and what I see, what I hear, what I believe, but the reality, the dimensions that I pop into when I'll be at the grocery store or uh, at my friend's house or we're out at Costco doing something and I will slip. And it's like, people don't really um, experience that. And it can be the same kind of thing in your awakening or even your whole existence throughout this lifetime here on earth. You can feel different. And that is the sign of a star seed. And we've talked about that before, but also in your star seed awakening. But, um, as we continue along, hopefully in this series, you will understand what a blessing that is. It's actually a very cool thing. Um, so third dimension is uh, all about emotion, right? We grow, we rise, we extend, we expand through um, emotion, through our relationships with people very interesting what we do here in the third dimension doesn't really exist like that in the other dimensions there is emotion but it's not the experience of that the soul is so attached to so just understand that while you are here in this earthly existence that um trying to understand that this is a time of discovery and expansion and that through your experience here on the earth it's actually a gift you are a multifaceted being um, if you question that understand that all of us are extremely complex in our soul in our our being as we exist in the complete universe um, one is not more simple than the other we have incarnations 
in this lifetime where we may seem simple or it feels very simple, but understand all of us equally are extremely complex. And you are all, we are all here for a reason. And it's because of our soul contracts. That's what it is. We have our soul contracts where we experience emotion and our soul contracts, they um, are with spirit ultimately. And through our soul contracts, it's uh, what is spirit trying to teach you about you? And what is spirit trying to teach you about your relationship with spirit? We are all here for a reason, but it may not be what you think or what you have determined because that itself can be a lifetime soul contract. It can be a thought or a, an anchoring seed thought that has been built. And you may find that as you move through your star seed awakening, that your whole reason for being here is very different from maybe what you thought. Yeah, that's that's pretty wild. I experienced that. Um, you are more resourceful, uh, more capable, and more intelligent than you will ever know. And um, that gets back to being a very complex being. The entire cosmos lies within you. All the answers. Your experience of the universe lies within. Now, you may have had experiences, you know, um, you could be a hybrid star seed where you spent a lot of time in different star systems for different reasons. Some have uh, lived in very specific star systems and pretty much have been confined to that one star system. But understand that when we have come here to the third dimension, we need to be like brain wiped in order for us to have this experience through our emotions. But as you go and grow through your starseed awakening, or through your lifetime as you age, you will start to remember, or it will be that you recall memories of what it's like to be in other star systems. You know, when I do uh, spirit guide or, um, you know, psychic readings for people, or I'll do the star seed readings, I will see, you know, what they have done for work in the past so maybe they have been a healer like with sound or with light or with stone um and those folks that's why they're really att uh, attached to healing modalities is because they're recalling their memories of that so um it does all lie within more than what we know <laughs> all right and uh the last thing is you are needed now more than ever this uh type of consciousness this type of thinking this uh, level of unconditional love of patience and tolerance and really inclusion and creating an environment of belongingness is needed now more than ever. And these are the traits of the universe. These are truly the traits of who we are. All anything else has been created out of fear. So you are needed now more than ever. So as your mission evolves, um, As your mission evolves on Earth, essentially to match the reality of the Earth, excuse me, <clears throat> you'll experience more awakening. It's kind of cool. 
That's what I love. All right, guys. So, yeah, think of them as energetic upgrades is what Courtney says. <laughs> All right. I'm so glad you are here. Thank you for joining me. And I hope you enjoyed these uniting truths behind um, who you are. And I will see you next time.